I'm obsessed, girl. Hey love, so today we are going to talk about the new Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation from Too Faced. So I picked this guy up at Sephora when I was in Seattle. Just very curious, I've heard really good things about this foundation and I bought it before I had heard the good things, so I'm very thankful that I've heard good things because I have decently high hopes for this. I also grabbed out my Born This Way foundation so I can kind of compare them. I'm not 100% in love with this one. I feel like it just depends on how my skin is doing. It's a little more drying. I feel like this one's supposed to be, it's a comfort matte. So it looks like it's got more of a satin finish um, from many other reviews that I've seen. It looks kind of dewy when it goes on and kind of sets matte. So I'm pretty excited to try this one. I got this one in the shade Snow. That's the shade that I have this guy in as well. Um, it's a little too dark for me. Snow does not work on its own for me. So I'm assuming that I'm going to have have to mix a mixer in. Most of you guys seemed totally okay with that in my last foundation video that I put up because I 99% of the time have to mix a foundation mixer in. So it's a very normal thing for me. It's a very normal thing for you guys. I do always use the Manic Panic Dream Tone because it's the one that I know doesn't really alter the foundation formulas for me unless it's been, there's very few that it's done anything to change. So I will probably mix a little bit in. I'll try not to mix too much, but I obviously want to be able to wear this and I do have plants later. So I do want to be able to do my makeup and not have to redo it, if that makes sense. Here, I'll swatch them next to each other just in case anything is different. Sometimes that will happen. Sometimes foundations, even if they are the same shade and different formulas will look different. So born this way. I can't remember if this one oxidizes at all or gets darker. I like the packaging on this. I really like the pump in the tube. First of all, it smells good. It smells lightly of peaches. It's not a super intense peachy smell, but you can smell the peaches, which I expected. Um, and I think I sniffed it at the store, but you can see the difference right there. They are slightly different. So this one is born this way, which looks like it's actually a little lighter. This one is the peach perfect. So a little, it seems <laughs> more peachy. That sounds funny to say, but it seems more kind of yellowy peachy than the Born This Way. We're definitely gonna have to mix a mixer in because if I put that on my face, by the time it sets and everything, I know it's gonna be too dark just by looking at it. Yeah, so again, those are the, those are those, these are those, you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's go ahead and apply it. I have primed my face with what I've just been using, which is Too Faced, lots of Too Faced, um, Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer all over and then the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with acne, anti-acne treatment, if I can speak. This is just, I just put it around my nose and a little bit on my chin because that's the only place that I get oily. I have combo skin, but my oil is like strictly on my nose. So the rest of me is pretty dry. So I like using this on the rest of my face because it's pretty hydrating. I'm gonna do like one and a half pumps in Manic Panic Dream Tone. As always, I get mine off Amazon. It's just a white foundation mixer. If you are pale, it's your best friend. Just mix about a pump in there, but I'm just gonna use a beauty blender and blend this out. This looks pretty nice. I feel like my skin's pretty dry right now because the weather is changing and it's getting much colder. So this will be kind of a true test. If, if it looks good, then we're good. It looks pretty nice. It looks pretty, pretty smooth. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. I will try and bring you in a little bit so you can get a better look. And then of course, I'll try and do a check-in later. I totally have lash glue on my lashes, so please don't mind those. Let me try and turn the light down just so you can get a better look at my not so perfect skin right now. That's what it's looking like. All right, so I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and come back and let you know what I think. Put my brows on. And I know I look crazy, but I wanted you guys to see the way that the finish has changed. It is more matte now. I would say it's a matte foundation at this point, but it's not like a matte matte. Does that make sense? Wow, I look ghostly. Once I have all the rest of my face on, I promise I won't look so crazy. Uh, but I definitely see the matteness now. Just once it sets, it gets a little more matte. I didn't even talk about the claims on the box. It just says oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil controlling, photo friendly, shine free, fused with peach and sweet fig cream, transfer resistant, medium coverage. See, I only set under my eyes because I want to try out one of the Makeup Revolution liquid highlighters today. So I didn't set my actual cheekbones or any of my cheek area at all. So I'm just going to kind of touch it. There's very minimal. There's like a tiny bit, but it also has only been on for like 
five minutes. So hopefully once it sets down, it's not transfer, it doesn't transfer at all. I will read the side of the box. I get too excited and I just want to put it on my face, so I didn't, I just kind of skipped a lot. But it says Peach Perfect is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream in our exclusive comfort matte long wearing 14 hour formula. The modern way to wear matte foundation, photo friendly, smooth, flawless, and comfortable with a soft focused velvety finish. Which I like. I like. That sounds good to me. That's why I got it. But okay, now I'm really going to go put the rest of my makeup on and I'll let you know. What Even a first impression wearing this for a couple hours, it's going to give you some sort of insight, but I really am enjoying the foundation. I'm excited about it. It looks good. It looks good. I definitely have some texture going on on my cheek right here, and I definitely have a couple tiny little friends that are growing. So the fact that I don't really see them when I'm this far away from the mirror, I'm cool with because most people are not going to be this close to my face. Of course, if I look closely, I can still see where those bumps are, especially because I know where they are and it's my face. But I feel like it does do a good job of kind of smoothing your skin, which photo friendly, smooth, flawless, and comfortable with a soft focus velvety finish. So hello loves, I am back. It is hours, hours, hours later. It's 930, uh, 9.30 right there. PM. I remembered to come back. Good job me. Good job me. I was like literally taking my hair extensions out and like about to rip my lashes off. This lash is definitely popping off. But so we are gonna check in. Let's see. I'm gonna bring you pretty close. I definitely have lipstick on my chin. That's cute. I'm feeling a little bit dewy in the middle, but I also had a ton of highlighter on. I'm actually pretty impressed. Let me bring you in and dim down the lights. Right now it's probably going to show you guys the difference that lighting makes. Because I feel like this lighting just kind of blurs everything out. But if I dim this down, you're going to be able to see every pore on my face. Um, hopefully that's a little bit better. It's a little bit darker in here. I need to keep some light, obviously. Otherwise you won't be able to see. But it is breaking up a little bit around my nose, but not bad. Not bad. Yeah, no, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. This is weird. That's only two foundations that I've actually done like come back, check in, review on. Like I'm actually really loving. Um, so I've had this on for probably almost exactly nine hours because I put it on around 1230. Uh, yeah, it looks a little dry on my forehead, but not bad. I haven't powdered. I haven't done anything. I haven't blotted or anything. So the fact that it still looks this good. Look at that highlighter still on too, though. Look at that. Those Makeup Revolution Liquid highlighters are the bomb, for real though. But yeah, I just wanted to check in and kind of show you what was yeah, going on. I'm freaking cold out. I just went and had dinner and got coffee and went shopping with my best friend. I um, went to Target and I spent way too much money on sweaters and cute Halloween things. Um, oh, can you see it? I didn't know where to put him. So there's a pumpkin living on the ColourPop box. And then there's a new skull back here. He's like, he's glass and he's like rose goldy. Ugh, he's so cute. So cute, he needed to come home. I've been trying not to buy decorations really because I'm moving soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So I didn't, but I just couldn't leave those two behind. I just needed to come home along with, I literally bought three sweaters and a kimono. I needed the sweaters though. If you guys remember my pumpkin colored sweater that I got last fall that I was obsessed with. I wore it probably a hundred times, I swear to God. Um, they had it in black and red and green. I need them. Anyway, so I'm going to stop rambling. This is what it looks like. I'm a huge fan. So to wrap it up, I will be wearing this foundation again. I'm very excited to try it, mixing it with other foundations and see how I feel. That it's just rubbed off a little on my nose, uh, but that's really the only place. But again, huge fan. So I'm going to wrap this up and I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it if you could. And please subscribe if you have not already. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. By the way, totally broke a nail, like, don't mind this little nub. My hair's always crazy. I hope that you guys just accept that my hair's always crazy. Like, I don't know what's happening, but it's okay. It's okay. Maybe that's not the exact technical term, but I'm not a scientist. I just make beauty videos on YouTube, so, which is weird. And then this one is the, I have this foundation, foundation on my hand. Drink some coffee. I just stuck myself in the face. Uh, I always get it in my hair. I'm obsessed, girl.